Hello, and welcome to the Learning and Behavior YouTube channel. I set up this channel to house a series of videos in which I describe key concepts in a study of conditioning and learning. There are about 30 of these video segments, each lasting about 15 minutes. My goal was to stimulate interest in each topic rather than providing a comprehensive description. I've been teaching learning for more than 50 years, if you can believe that. I don't know whether to be proud or depressed about that. In any event, at the beginning, I was on the staff of the Behavior Science Institute at Western Michigan University. And in that position, I had the good fortune to get to know Jack Michaels, Nate Azrin, Murray Sidman, and other key players in the establishment of the field of applied behavioral analysis. I got my PhD under the supervision of Shepard Siegel at McMaster University, and since then have spent much of my career studying various aspects of Pavlovian conditioning. Along the way, I had the good fortune of becoming friends with many of the major scientists who shaped the field of conditioning and learning in the last few decades. The video segments reflect both my intellectual and my personal journey in this field. The specific content of each segment follows pretty closely what's covered in my textbooks, the principles of learning and behavior and the essentials of conditioning and learning. You'll recognize that many of the slides were taken from those books. Although the content is based on my books, I hope the videos are a lot more engaging and entertaining. I worked hard to include applications to daily life and on occasion, I took out my viola to illustrate some of the key concepts. Here is my viola. <laughs> the video segments don't have to be viewed in a particular order. Therefore, instructors and students can pick and choose the topics that are most relevant for them. I wanna thank Ben Kelder, who served as a recording engineer for this series and the staff of the Liberal Arts Information Technology Service who provided other forms of assistance. I'm grateful for your interest in the series and I look forward to visiting with you again as I discuss various key concepts in learning and behavior. But until then, how about a little Mozart? We can all use a little Mozart in these uncertain times. Thank you. Be well and see you next time.